Hey there, this is Angie M and the January cloth and paper sub box is here. I have seen some spoilers, but not many, so I don't know what all is going to be in here. I know the spoilers I did see, two of the items will definitely be something that goes into a box to be <clears throat> repurposed. Okay, so we have the Penspiration card. I really like the colors of this. I don't know what's going to come in the box. I know what someone else said came in the box, but not all boxes are the same. So I'm going to reserve my comment until I see that. And then we have our what's inside. All right. All right. So let's just get down to it. Down to the dirty here. We've got a whole page. Love yourself. How you love yourself is how you teach others to love you. We should probably do a whole video on that topic. I have some feelings about that. All right, we will we will get to that in a moment. And I can see I can see why someone criticized this. All right. So I'm not gonna open any of this. I see we've got AM, PM, minimal task cards. I typically do not use these. So I'm not I'm not gonna open them. They are not the kind of thing that would go in my planner. Same thing with the appointment sticky notes. Again, not the kind of thing that I would use. I use an HP mini and this is, this is just too large. This wouldn't go, for me, I don't use an inbox. I put appointments in where they belong and I don't typically keep something like this. See, I like, I like this. I like the appointment notepad to an extent. And I say to an extent because you can make notes. It has appointment details, which is fabulous. The only problem I see with this is punching it is going to hit this edge. So, mm, <laughs> I'm gonna set this aside. I don't know if this will be something I would use either. All right, so then we've got the little monthlies. I see something like, I saw something on the, the list for what was in the box that gave me pause as well. But I will talk about that in a moment. So I really do like the new cards that they have been using for, for the monthlies. This is something I can repurpose and we'll hang on to. Then we have a journaling card here. Be thankful for what you have and fearless for what you want. Get put away. This will go in to my planner. I just kind of use it for bookmarking. I actually think I might use these for low spend, no spends. Uh, Suenia, prepared, prepared with an elegance attained through care for the finer details. I like that. I don't know if I will use this. I typically, I, I don't really use the journaling cards. I feel bad to say it. I just, I don't, I, I don't typically use them. All right, and then it looks like we've got some dashboards. So what do we have here? Paint swatch dashboard. May your streets be paved with gold, a new year, a new you, an endless amount of opportunities laid at your feet. I like the color and I might like the color in the new planner cover I have coming. So I will, I will set that aside because I could see myself using it maybe. Turn my space here off, I'm getting quite warm. I, I don't know. And then got I'm going to assume this is the magazine cover dashboard. And then the 2021 dashboard. Horizontal weeklies. I am not a fan of weeklies that have things written on them for me. I have planner pages that I already use for this stuff, monthly pages that I already use for this stuff, and I just don't think this would be something I would use. So I'll set that aside. Uh, an updated purchase tracker. Okay, I'm all right with this. This does not have the black line, so this is something I will keep and I will use. Horizontal weekly undated. This is, this is what I cringed at. And the reason I cringed at it is because I just, I have too much stuff. 
Like, I want to use one planner and then I feel like I get these and I don't always know what to do with them and they are undated. So let's just take a look at them. Undated means I can always keep them and use them in the future. Okay, all right, so these, it's a new weekly. It's a week on two pages. And I, I kind of like this with the exception of the dot grid. I don't know, I'll see how I feel about this. I will not put this in with my stuff. I will put this in my D-stash box. I may never decide I want to use it. Again, I already have my planner system down and I, I'm thinking about, I am thinking about canceling my sub because I just, if I need something, I'm gonna purchase it. And I typically, what I use, like my system's already set up well in advance. So this stuff, so most of this box is actually going to at some point be these stash. I like the colors. I love the color of that. I love, I love, like this is totally on trend for what I've got going on in terms of colors in my life right now. So I am not mad at that at all. I just think that this particular month's sub box isn't really my jam, so to speak. Okay. And I just went through and donated a bunch of stuff to my daycare because they are hosting school-age kids and, you know, school-age kids go through a bunch of stuff. So, so we have that. Because I have something that I have been using and do want to use up, we will use this up to do the pen test. So I'm going to zoomy, zoomy, zoomy in. And I see this guy. So point four. I have this in purple already. I don't know if this is black ink or not. And I did not pull up the blog to see if there was a difference. So this is a, is that Jinshin? I do, I do like these. I don't know if it's waterproof or not. Uh, so I will keep this because I do like the fine point pens and I do like them for writing in my planner. They're nice for space saving. So that is not a bad deal. And then the DS Vintage, this reminds me a lot like a lot of the Click Pen, which I do not have out. Pull that out, it's a 0 0.5. See, look, and we're gonna, we're gonna use a bunch of things. All right, so let's, I'm gonna get more my stick this to my forehead, probably. So, my click pen is definitely smoother in terms of writing. I actually, I like the color. I like the color of all of these, but I don't know that this is something that I would need to keep. I'm just set that aside. See, and that's also why I don't like these because you get that, you get the, it leaves behind a residue. All right, I can already tell you this is, I'm not gonna be a fan of this. I did declutter my pink one. Ooh, I lied. Okay, so the pink one was very pigmented. This is not, I, ooh. Ooh, see, this is where cloth and paper gets me. Things that I think I'm not gonna like tend to be the things I really end up enjoying from their boxes. So this guy is a keeper. Look at that. Look at how nice that is. That is that's a keep pile. Okay, and then, oh, I should probably tell you what this is. I don't know the name of it. I don't, I don't know the name of the manufacturer. So, and this is a Snow White G202 0.5. But I mean, I like that highlighter. It's not, it's not too pigmented, and it didn't leave, it didn't leave thick lines at the starter at the end. So I am good with that. So this is a. So this is just a basic black pen. I do have black pens that write better than this. So I think this is, or more smoothly, I should say, I think that is going to go aside. I had a couple of colors of these from cloth and paper. 
I did end up decluttering those. I typically prefer a click pen over a cap pen. So that is just personal preference. So those, one was just a basic blue, which I already have basic blues. Another one was sort of a brownish color, but it was in a tone that I am not a fan of and decluttered. This I think I might like. So DS904 is what this is, it's 0 0.5. I'm just gonna do DS. Again, I like that color. It is, it is a different green than the other greens that I currently have. So I think, let me, let me see, I'm contemplating. No, I have, I have green pens that I really do like. I do, I have, I'm looking, I, I have one actually out that I really do like. So I am going to put that with these guys and I will probably declutter these at some point. So I am keeping two pens. So let's just, let's just take a minute and then these I've got a collection of four to declutter. Okay, so two out of five I'm keeping. One is basically a backup for another one I already have, but I like it that much. It writes beautifully. I like it that much, so we're, we'll keep that. I'm keeping a highlighter that I was pleasantly surprised with. The purchase tracker, I love, I love this purchase tracker. I love that it does not have the black edge on it. Super sleek, super neat. It, I can get my date, my description, a category if I want an amount. I like these. They are perfect. The other ones I have are for my half letter. So this is my first set from them. For my HP mini, do I have printables? Yes, absolutely. Will I use these? Yes, absolutely. So I will keep those as opposed to decluttering them. And then this guy's gonna get in my planner. I mean, realistically, this month's box for me was kind of a non-starter. It was sort of a no-go. That is okay though. I. Again, when this comes up for renewal, I may not renew it. We'll we'll see when we get there. We will we shall see when we get there. I am going to when I I'm gonna put these on here because this guy and this guy are going to get punched and go into my planner. This is getting punched. This is going to my extras, so I'm just gonna put that over there with my extra stuff to sort out. Stuff to punch over, and then my deco will go and get put away. In a hot minute put these guys in here all right all right so that is it and i will catch y'all in the next one